All right, guys, I had a big swarm today. I knocked it out of this tree and it went in the box and I got them going in. I wanna to talk to y'all a little bit about late season swarming. So it's late June. It's late June and uh, I have a big swarm. And it was a very big swarm. We see them flying around me now. Um, to have a late swarm in June, into June, um, is not a really good thing and it persists it presents a couple problems possibly and it throws red flags up to me and to what maybe I have done wrong as a beekeeper and you know something had to cause them to swarm so I've got to look back and see what I might have done wrong or what I have not done wrong to have a swarm this late in the season is not a good thing because for one, are they gonna have enough food? Uh, we're coming out of the nectar flow and this is a lot of bees that's gotta eat. And uh, I'm gonna have to make sure they got food. And also I'm gonna have to look back at my other hives and see where they come from because more than likely this swarm has probably got a couple queen cells that have not hatched. Um, I could have a couple more swarms from this hive at any point. <clears throat> Let me get you. See it marching in. So do have the queen in the box. <clears throat> As you can see, they're all going in, marching in. So that's a good sign. But what I'm talking about is the bees make these big swarms like this. This late in the year, something's had to pressure them to come out of the box. They're not going to come out for no reason at all. So either the box is honey bound and they ran out of room and they had to find a new home. Or it's a chance of a parasite problem or an invasion of some kind of bug like a beetle. Uh, hive beetles are very bad this time of year because it's getting warm. Um, I don't really know. I'll have to look in and see what hive they come out of. But. It's obvious that something pushed them out. I see them all fanned up and they're sticking their butts up. They goes to show you the queens in there. They're all coming down from the from the tree. Um, if you have too many hive beetles, it can put pressure on these bees. I'm not really thinking that's what it is because. As you can see, I'm right here at them, and uh, they're being pretty gentle. They're not trying to sting me, so I don't think they're really irritated or aggravated. I think more than likely, their hive got overpopulated because they ran out of room. So my thoughts are, they probably got honey bound. See them pollen in. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'll do with this hive, and I might change my mind later, and put maybe a frame or two of full honey in them. I think I know which hive they come out of, and I'm late getting to it, and I'm pretty sure it's honey bound. So what I might end up doing is pulling a frame or two, three or four frames out of this hive that has too much honey in it and putting on top of this hive and setting them back in a rack, <clears throat> a stand. Or I might, I might put a feeder in this hive and feed them sugar water. And I'll go ahead and backfill them with one to one. One part sugar, one part water. And fill it pretty thick and let them go ahead and backfill the hive up yourself. Um, They're really a marching in. It's cool to watch. It's fun to watch it. But it makes you aware that something else is going wrong to make them do this this late in the year. Like I say, it's the end of June. Coming right out of nectar flow, they'll be going into dearth. So they're going to have that struggle. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my other hives because this hive, if you don't feed them enough, they might get into the, the thought of, well, I'm going to go rob somebody else and they'll rob another hive out. So this is where you got to put your work in. One kind of fighting another one there. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about this. Uh, this late season swarming like this, you know, it's not good. Um, they pretty much transferred from one box that was probably too full of honey, and I had to end up putting them in this box, the empty box. And it kind of just it takes a roll from one side to the other. Um, I always had to put more honey in the box or feed them and uh, take care of them, keep a watch on them. It just goes to show that it's very important not to let you get your boxes, not to let your boxes get too full of honey because um, it, it will push them out. It, there's no room for them in the box. So they got to find another home and they'll try to make another home. Now, if this hive was to swarm out somewhere and I wouldn't have found them, you know, it's probably, it would have been a certain doom kind of situation because they're getting ready to go into dirt, they'd have starved out. But I got lucky and they landed a tree here at the house. And I got to get them. They come directly from this apple tree. You can see they're gentle. I'm standing here in flip flops, shorts, t shirt. All right, I just wanted to give a little video out and that's so fascinating to watch them do that. I really get a kick out of it. 
it's crazy how easy they can smell that queen and, and go in that box and know where she's at. But uh, keep an eye on your hives. Um, don't walk away from your hives and not check on them. You got to check on them, you know, every week, you know, every, every so many days. Don't just let them go. I know it's hard when you got a lot of hives, but, you know, <laughs> you got to kind of figure out whether you want to chase bees or do maintenance and keep from having to do this. And I'm not saying you can do everything you need to do to a box and they ain't going to do this because he still could. But this was a lot of bees. So it would be a shame to lose them. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm going to continue to bring you some more videos. All right, guys, thank you.